First, a light is inserted to aid the surgeon and the vitreous fluid is removed from the inner chamber. Then a space is formed beneath the retina where the implant will be placed. The implant is placed in the space below the retina. Fluid is injected to push the retina back down, and finally the implant is adjusted to best target the central visual field. The implant rests under the bipolar cells in the place of atrophied photoreceptors. It's difficult to read without central vision, so a pair of glasses with an embedded camera captures visual information from the environment which is transmitted into the eye via near-infrared light. The implant accepts this light and stimulates the retina in the same pattern. So images reach the chip, the chip images then go back to the glasses, the images are refined and enhanced, and then they go back to the chip, process through the remaining retina, the inner part, travel down the optic nerve, up to the brain. So essentially when the patient puts on the glasses, this instantly all happens 